Hey everybody and welcome to Bitter Bitches Oh How I Hate Them Part 2. So on Facebook there was a status posted by a girl who I went to a school with and she posed the question, whatever happened to getting your shit together before becoming a young parent? And personally, I agree with that because there are so many people who I went to school with who are now parents. Like, I'm 23 years old, and I have people I went to school with who had children while juniors in high school, some earlier than that. And I understand that people are grown, but this is what bothers me. There were comments under the status that was posted, made by those same students who became pregnant early. And they were saying that it was very disrespectful for her to say what she said. And they felt like they were being downed and frowned upon because of their becoming mothers. Here's my position on that. You cannot be upset because somebody decided to not have a child. Because it is not something that you look forward to as a teenager you don't just wake up and say I want to be a mom at 17 I'm sure every teen mother or at least most would not have any interest in being a teen mother like who the fuck does that when I was a teenager I was living the life my mama was paying for everything for me I damn near was able to get what I want and I got everything of what I needed now I'm fending for myself and if I would have had a child by now, do you know how much hell my life would be in right now? I mean, naturally, because I would be a mother, I would love my life as a mother just because, of course, when you're, when you're pregnant, you love your child. Like, that's a motherly, that, that's a given. But there will always be that thought in my mind of, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have slowed down and not been doing the little shit that I was doing that got me the kid. Because, again, like, when you, when you become a parent, your life completely does a 360. Not even a 180, a 360. You have to grow yourself up if you are a teen parent. You might be pregnant at 16, 17, but mentally, your ass is about 30, 35. You gotta worry about getting your kid a social security number, getting your kid enrolled in daycare, working so that you can take care of the basic needs, and the basic needs include the diapers, the formula, clothing, uh, a stroller, a crib. Babies come with a lot. They are a lot of responsibility that even parents who are in their 30s are not ready for. And in the comments, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody said, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. Are you serious? You really try to use the Bible to justify you lying to your mama about being at Shaniqua house and really you was at DeAndre house fucking him till the wee hours of the morning? Have you lost your motherfucking mind? I cannot stand when people try to use the Bible to justify their sins. When clearly the Bible is a whole 66 chapter book about how not to fuck sin. It got goddamn stories about how people was doing shit and how their life got fucked up and then what you gonna do? Go follow right in the same path? You are fucking crazy, but I digress. But it really just made me upset when I saw that she said that because my thing is that was for a situation where there was a woman who was a harlot who slept with another woman's man while having a man. And when the whole town found out, that's when Jesus came through and he told them, let him who was without sin cast the first stone because he knew there was nobody that was around who hasn't done some type of sin or another. That was the lesson moment that was where you learned that no sin is different from another or bigger than another a sin is a sin and i hate when females get bitter like that it's not our fault that you decided to put you wanted to get pregnant nobody forced you to have sex with who you had sex with nobody even forced you to keep a kid 
and <laughs> they try so hard to throw so much shade to non-parents when really we don't give a fuck we can care less we're living right now i mean and i understand children are a blessing literally but some people are more traditional than others like me hell i don't even want to get married until i'm like in my late 20s early 30s i don't even want to i don't even want to have my first kid till i'm about maybe 30 31 and i know that after having a kid after like what 32 or 35 or some shit like that you can put your kid at risk of down syndrome but i'm not worried about that i'm worried about being done with all the little crazy shit that I do now. Like, I like to go out with my friends. I like to smoke. I like to drink. I kind of want to do that with a kid. I mean, of course, you can still do that with a kid. But I got more responsibilities. Why put more responsibility on myself that I don't have to have? A child, having a child is a choice. Being a parent is a choice. I'm not understanding how it is that you can shun other people for not having children when really you just be mad at the fact that you are not in the same predicament that you used to be in. You just wish you were in our position. Because had you not had a kid, you would have been saying the same thing. And I can't stand the females that get mad when they see them post about not this baby with no baby. Shut the fuck up. Okay, we get it. Your parents, we get it. You love your kids. But Find your ass some fucking chill because this shit is fucking ridiculous. You can mad over the wrong shit. Just get back to living your, to live your life and your shit gonna change about the fact that you're a parent. So, do you leave everybody else the fuck alone and let motherfuckers live? Point blank, period. This is Dennis Shelby's original. I'm out, y'all. This has been a Shelby's original.